What up? I mean, I was on bags. edge. This is your boy G Million here, and welcome, welcome to another video of DSP Reacts. We are gonna watch his reaction to the movie Barbarians. We're gonna watch him review it, and we are going to tear it down. But first, we always have to review the movie ourselves. I am here with Raven's Dolphin. Hello, and I have it's another a guest. Me. Yeah, it's a me, Parma. Well. Arma could, I don't know, be a baby. Sure. And <laughs> Ravens can be a fucking Mac. Yeah, I'm the Mac. Woof. I love Macintosh. <laughs> All right, bitches. Um, what did you guys think of the movie? That was weird, but suspenseful. Yes, the the it says it right there. Uh. It's it's a uh, it's a horror film. It was def, but it's not like horror. Like ah, it was more like creepy. It was more like false sense of reality. Right, right, right. It reminds like, yeah. me of like an amazing indie horror film, even though it's like <sighs> Fox and you know and shit like that. But it, it's just yeah. like an awesome like low budget tier type of thing. Um. Now, see, I like Gmail that you said reminds me of an awesome indie horror film. This seems like it mm -hmm. again. It, it I I agree. It reminds me of it. Like oh, it reminds me of this other scary movie or this other like indie scary thing. It reminds me of one, but itself it is not one to me. At least it starts promisingly enough, like it is going to be one. But by the end, the finished just, product really isn't that. It just seems like people that like horror movies got together, made a fun little thing. Uh, to me, yeah, the budget yeah. probably wasn't high, and um, they got some big name actors in there. And it just got... felt. Yeah. I wonder how long. I wonder how expensive Justin Long was. Yeah, he wasn't. They just gave him a new Mac and said, "Off you go." Mac and that's your going rate. I guess one of the biggest actors was um, Pennywise. <sighs> sure. Yeah. And he yeah, wasn't yeah, even was... in it that long. <laughs> due to Which, reasons. Again, I was uh, underutilized, frankly, because. I mean, he's just kind of also story, and then oh, well, we can talk more about that later. This is this is a movie that had like very little people in it. I think it had like seven people overall. Yeah, uh, let's see. There's like the two at the beginning. Well, if you count the cops, I, and if you count the person that was interviewing the main character, and I, I guess we'll go by the rules as before. If <laughs> Phil spoils something, then we'll spoil, but we'll try not to. So okay, so um, what do you guys give this movie? I give it two stars. I thought it was just creepy. The this this movie, its atmosphere, amazing. Like you, it keeps you so locked in. Like what the fuck's going on here? But uh, two, yeah. <laughs> But it it falls apart at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, and at the at the beginning, I was absolutely yes. I I really wanted to see more, and it seemed like a lot was being teased and kind of promised and hinted at or whatever, and nothing I, really I, came up. I, I will say this: the trailer and the movie do not. Seemed to make two and two, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I thought we were getting a different movie than I thought, which is that that's all I'm going to say about that. Like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just I thought I was getting something else and it ain't that. Yeah. All right. Well, I, you guys give it a two. Thing. Um, When I yeah, first yeah. watched it, I thought it was a lot better than after a second go around. Um, Definitely don't like it as much. Um, I thought it was a lot better. I did watch it in theaters. I I didn't know anything about the movie. I did not watch the trailer. I went in completely blind. 
did not Which expect is probably, much. That's probably the best way to, to do that, is go in blind with yeah, this. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't go. have shown you the it, trailer. Maybe yeah. I, for me, I don't think it would have made you a difference. You don't think it would have mattered? I mean, well, it would have been interesting because, again, if you didn't watch the trailer, all you have is the word barbarian. And exactly. So, yeah, we're thinking, okay, as Raven pointed out, where's Conan? Where's the loincloth? Where's the dude with the Or where's, um, what was the Disney Channel show? The Barbarian, um, Dave the Barbarian? I, yeah, Dave the Barbarian. Okay, yeah, so where's Dave? Be about, like, the killer is, like, in a loincloth going ooga booga. Like, that's, that's what you'd think of. We're going to see Barbarian. Like, that's what I would think. It is not that at all it's really not that much we there. can spoil it's definitely not that <laughs> yeah i Conan give it about two stars um yeah um yeah you guys missed the theater experience unfortunately <laughs> someone's going to say you give everything two stars everything this is a dsp pick this shit we're yeah, just DS going on what yeah. we think <laughs> well if you want to know what a movie that i gave five stars stuff? to mission impossible well, yeah, uh, what, the uh, the newest one. Yeah, what that was an easy five stars. How many are there at this point? Because I lost count Seven. around five. Fuck me. And and I just want to say, just because we give a horror film two stars, like we're we're grading it on a curve. Horror is hard. Yeah, sure. it is. It's been done Absolutely. to death, especially yeah. like the Halloween films, the screen films that that Phil's picking and all that. <laughs> What did we give Nope? Was it like four stars? Yeah, we like Nope a lot. <laughs> nope. Yeah, there you go. Nope was like, really good. I watched that movie like five times. Nope is suspenseful and everything you would want, and it's it's great. So yeah, like we don't just give movies two stars. Um, especially me. Like <laughs> I'm more lenient than these guys are. So. Um, like I give, like if I were to rate the nun two, I'll probably give it three and a half stars or close to four because I like the first one and saw two, I mean, saw X, I would easily give it four stars. Wait, there's a new saw. Yes. Yeah. Saw X. Completely. Oh man. Saw 10. Yeah. yeah it, saw 10. it takes place between saw one and two. So you don't need to watch all the other saws. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah. It, Cause I, I did watch those in like middle school wow all right yeah so if, as long as you remember saw one and two you're good okay wow and they brought back everyone from the first between the first and the second movie neat which is it's weird because you see him older in this video in this movie and then you go back yeah, to right. two, and, and, and they're young i'm like bro prequel or whatever every pre it's like oh this character's bad and it's the it's the actor who's like a thousand years old but supposed to be younger than the thing yeah it always yeah every series it does that it fucks up but it, it's all cool right. that they brought everyone back all righty then now we're gonna hey. watch phil are About you get your loincloths ready all right <laughs> You Get got Raven club. dying over there. Yeah, fuck you, Chrome. Piece of shit, bitch ass Chrome. Kind of poor bitch ass cowboy boxes Chrome living out of, baby. We have to watch a stupid um intro. Here it is. This intro sucks, and it's just gonna like, no, and then like smash cut to Phil's gross fucking face. No fade. <laughs> Hello everyone, Duh. Phil here, and God welcome to it, another movie review oh, here on DSP like, imagine React. The THX Today I'm going to be reviewing <laughs> a surprise movie. Hello everyone. Like, can, you, can you pause? Sorry. Yeah, I already paused. What is with the... What is with this barbarian thing that he's got here? Well, he did the smart thing and did the um, poster, but he made it too big. Yeah. yeah. I still think it should go on the other side to cover the stupid ass Halloween tree, but uh, yeah, you sh he should do it where there's more room, and it's the Halloween tree, and make the poster smaller. Yeah, you're right. It's way big. It's too big. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like it can't be like it's pretty much bigger <laughs> than him at this point. It pretty much almost right. covers him. 
Yeah, and it's gonna happen like last time where he's gonna lean, he's gonna lean with it, rock with it, like he likes to do. Yeah, and his face he's is too drunk. Get covered up by the poster. It's it's, it's jarring. Stupid. It's right. I actually hands. was not planning on watching this one. Uh, and why did you watch I was going to do this month, but it just so happens I had a, a night with nothing really going on, and I wanted to watch a random movie, and I awesome. found it available on... And he thought, you thought, I'm a barbarian, so I'll watch this. You had... And also, look how reminiscing of this, of the picture they have. Doesn't it remind you of, like, these 70s, uh, how they made yeah. movie posters? Yeah. I think that's what they were going for. Yeah, going for that old look when you go to a movie theater. It yeah. reminds me exactly of how Stranger Things did it. Like and this they is used the exact movie poster kind of that was in the theaters. The 80s and stuff. Yeah. Right, very... But smaller and better. Supposed to have, like, that, that suspense. It's like, I, back to what he said, I had a free night, I could watch something. What the fuck were your wife doing? That Staring you on a wall, crying, filing <laughs> those divorce together. papers. But she don't like, like horror the, films. He, oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe she, next time your wife why. is playing Starfield, um, DSP could another, watch another movie on his phone. Mm, yes. In, a, uh, in another room. I'm, uh, I'm sure it's a great experience watching it on an iPhone 6S. Oh, yeah. On Max, I booted it up, I tried it out, and let me tell you something. It's a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, I've mm. seen the 2022 movie Barbarian. Rated R. It is a it's horror It's a good flick. one, guys. And from that title, you would have absolutely no idea what the movie is about, correct? He does have a point. From the title, it just, you can't really tell what the movie is about. He did that on purpose. Yeah, and that's yeah. a good thing. It leaves this big air of mystery. Out, but... And basically what I'd like to tell you is this review will be mostly spoiler-free. It's actually going to be a We'll see about that. Shorter review. We'll see. Because I actually think this movie is good. And I don't want to spoil the plot for you guys, okay? Here's what I will do. I'll cover so the general like basic summary of the beginning of the movie. So you know the Love setup and premise. I'll tell you... Okay, with a movie like this, you don't even want to do that. Some of, you know, the actors right. and people in it. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what I liked and didn't like, but I'm not going to spoil the plot. Because I actually think one of the best things about this movie is that you go into it not knowing what to expect because the name is so weird, Right? I mean, it's barbarian, but it's set in the present day. The woman does not look like a barbarian. Conan too. Is Conan gonna burst out of the the wall behind her and stab her? <laughs> oh, wow. Even he was thinking the Conan. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was like Conan. Come here, Conan. Squeeze me. I. I, I I've been a bad boy. <laughs> he wanted to go there. Burnell's a nigger. <laughs> okay, Bill. Bring Taylor in a horror like a horror movie thing. I don't know, right? So that's that's really what you think. Like, is Arnold Schwarzenegger in this movie? Does he come out and just like stab people? Like, what's going on? That's not um, who I was thinking of. But okay. All right. So, Barbarian, set in present day, a woman who is going on a job in a woman. What's wrong with that, <laughs> Phil? They work too. Like, uh, imagine travels women? to Detroit, okay. Michigan, <laughs> and she's staying at an Airbnb. If you don't know what an Airbnb is, it's a sexual. Oh my Airbnb. God! Here Ooh. comes the history Ooh. lesson. A place that you can Raven, stay at that's owned by someone else. It's not a Airbnb. hotel, but it's owned by. No, I have no idea what it is. And you're able to stay there as if it is a hotel. <laughs> according, like, according to Phil, I don't know what time. it is. A lot of people <laughs> like Airbnb God. because it's they're not you know houses owned by corporations. It's more like small business. <laughs> owners who own these homes as rentals and it's basically supporting a different kind of, of uh you know company rather than like a ginormous corporation like a holiday inn or something instead you basically might get something uh, that's a little bit more of a value a little bit more home as if airbnb isn't a giant fucking point, company that's rather than just a manufactured hotel room. yeah they're a pretty big not company and so not even worth trying to fucking <laughs> yeah like uh, you can get airbnbs all the way across the world shit like isn't that the whole problem that airbnb is such a huge companies that like rental like landlords are forcing their tenants out and replacing their units with airbnbs so they can make more money therefore airbnb is making a lot more money. like it's a big fucking company dipshit yes yeah like two thousand dollars a rent or a hundred dollars a night like for you these should places look up san francisco sometime 
and see what, how expensive it is and why it's so expensive. Stuff like Actually, Airbnb. It's all done online a lot of these places. They're kind of anonymous. You don't know the person that you're staying you know, with or whatever or at. Um, Generally, you stay alone in these Airbnbs, right? Yeah, I, yes. Most of the time I've done it, I've done it with a group um, or at least one other person. But, I mean, plenty of times, yes. I would say it's probably like 50-50. Oh, okay. Solo. Well, the right, house is supposed to be to yourself. Yeah. What, Got it. You get it. 50-50, yeah. And you stay there for the set amount of time, and usually there's a place that you would, like, pick up a key or drop a house key off. That's how Airbnb works. So you kind of have to know the present really? of how Airbnb works to understand the premise of the movie. So this oh, woman... No, 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 no. We don't no, really know no, understand no. it. Uh... Who explain this to Jade? It's like actual fucking old uncle at a party thing. It's like, okay, so you know, like a hotel, it's kind of different. You get, you have to use a smartphone. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, a smartphone or a smart device is a small phone like it. It's like, oh, fuck. And I think we know, Grandpa, if I'm going to spoil the movie, here's the only thing I'm going to spoil. They did a good job explaining Airbnb. Yes. Like, kind of showing, not telling. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I agree. If you really don't know, and you still saw this movie, you would still kind of, you would get the premise. You would get yeah. the idea that, oh, okay, you would book it online and do this and meet here and, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And she's traveling I to Detroit they did, they did for a job interview, and she's staying at this Airbnb for, I think, two days <clears throat> or during her interview time, and then she's supposed to get out of there. So she shows up in the middle of the night and can't get into the house. The key is missing from where it was supposed to be. So Which is, this was shown in the trailer. In the house, so she starts yep. you know, knocking, come to find out someone else is already there. And they're trying to figure out what exactly happened. You know, how could two people have been booked for the same house at the same night? That's not supposed to happen. It's only supposed to be a oh, one-occupancy home. Uh, that happens all the time in the Hallmark films, Phil. <laughs> We rented the same place for Christmas? Oh, geez. And, like, nope. I'm a recently divorced, you know, single mom who's the author of a greeting card company. You're, like, a handsome lumberjack who's also recently divorced. Oh, geez. <laughs> What's gonna there, happen? <laughs> there was a, uh, I mean, Rocco's Modern Life did the same thing. I mean, Ed Bighead wanted the cabin with the snow in it, and Rocco wanted to rent it. It, it. This happens all the time. Yeah. Just imagine, you you go out, you you save up money on a, some exotic trip, and you find out that you booked an Airbnb, and there's some burly dude sh sharing it with you by accident. <laughs> Phil's Phil's. Drink. And he makes pancakes. Yeah, it makes pancakes. Yeah. Tummy pancakes. Phil, when he so was there a mix-up or whatever and basically that's the beginning of the premise of the movie the air of mystery here is what happened was this a mix-up was this intentionally done is the person mystery. Who's at that call the mystery machine <laughs> the mystery <laughs> zoinks zoinks if someone fucked up it's the mystery they're solved yeah yeah. That house, who they say the movie the explains it. Man. Watch the movie. They are, or are they trying to trick the woman? Old is that the it. premise of the horror of the movie? All I'm gonna say is the movie is a rated R. It's got gore, oh. and it's got some really? really uncomfortable, very disturbing imagery and situations. That's all I'm going to say. He won't I even will say sexual. Yeah. Sexual, Phil. What, 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 what kind of like imagery that. we're talking like about that. here exactly? A man in a loincloth running around saying he's Conan. Vaguely say it's not even like that. I guess it's not really. It's just like it, it, it made you squirm it's a couple pretty. times. Yeah, exactly. It's. I, like, I mean, there's stuff. there was a few. Uns I wouldn't call it unsettling, but it definitely gives it you that false of emotion. You know, like it's definitely like, you know, like if you're gonna watch a movie like this, like suspending your disbelief is definitely part of it. Oh, yeah. And it does a oh, yeah. really good job of just literally going like, what the fuck goes out here? Yeah. 
I'll say this, it's not a slasher a flick. So don't worry, this isn't like, oh my God, it's like hostile, it's gonna be disgusting dismemberment and torture. Nothing to that no. extent. But yeah. it's a very creepy movie that keeps you guessing. <clears throat> and I had no idea what to expect going into it. I'll tell you, by the end of the movie, I was shocked in a good way, I would say, because it was nothing like what I expected it was going to be. You're a psycho. It was scary. Yeah. Um, the effects were good, I would argue. The acting was good. And it has a very small cast. It's only a few actors and actresses in this movie who, yeah, uh, I, I would thing, say, right? under 10. Yeah, we said the same thing. Like under 10, maybe, okay. Few... I think at one point there's... There's like seven people in the movie total. Ish. Ish. Yeah. I don't know if you want to count the cops, but they were like... Yeah, I mean, someone's going to go like, like well... Gas station dude. Well, someone's like, well, there, there's really 10 in total or 11. It's like, it's a very small cast. Some background people here and there, like... I yep. wouldn't even count them. Like, actual speaking roles. Yeah. yeah. There's two police officers in the movie, so maybe that, that ups the, the actor count a little more. But... It's a very small cast. It's a movie that's confined mostly to the home and or other things going on around the home. Um, and it's scary for sure. Now, I can't spoil the plot. If I tell you literally any more than that intro premise, I will spoil. But I will say the suspense is absolutely great. The build up, some of the shots are well done. Um, here's a cool twist. Halfway through the movie, the movie completely changes tones and introduces new characters. And you're like, wait, what? I'm halfway into the movie. I'm already oh hooked. I don't want to say There's anything. more? Yeah, and it actually makes it feel like kind of interesting. Like, oh my God, there's another cast of characters being introduced here. And by the way, some of these actors like Bill Skarsgård and, and uh, Justin Long, you might actually recognize. Like Justin Long, I know from like comedies back in the day. And actually he was in this other horror movie a long time ago, Tusk. I don't know if you ever saw that one. Wow, so he I knows know that. Him from various oh, wow. you know, comedies okay, and other things. Okay, wow. I thought he was going to say Jeepers Creepers like I did. Dude. Freaking what actor. I recognized him back in the day. And here he is in a modern horror Possibly. movie. That's pretty cool. <laughs> DSP is a big horror fan. His, 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 his wife ain't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you recognize Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. Yeah, he recognized that. He's, and Justin Long is the Mac and PC guy. It's just like, yeah, there you go. I want him again, to review I it. Again, I'm surprised he was like, "Oh, he was in a horror movie called Hus." Again, I, but I wouldn't. I mean, he, he makes it sound like there's more than the people that were there. It was, it, it was like a few characters introduced. Like, it's not a lot, Phil. Really, not a lot. Yeah, it was like one main one, and I don't want to get into it unless he does. Yeah, me either. Um, it was pretty neat, and again, the acting is good. Um. And there's a, a ongoing story that unfolds over the course of the movie. At first, the movie makes absolutely no sense. But by all means, by the end of the movie, you will understand everything that's happened. They do a good job. A lot of these horror movies, they're like, oh, they're not going to explain nothing, right? You just got to figure it out for yourself. It's your own interpretation. Oh, no. Barbarian fully explains everything that's going on and why it's going on. It's just very disturbing. But you not get your first. answers, all right? And that's a good... They do it in time, yeah. Yes. Yes. He's right about yeah, that. Awesome. Like, what, what are yeah. your thoughts on that? It does tell you the story and why and all that stuff. It does wrap up very nicely in a nice little bow at the end. Explanation is definitely not... Not the... It's not lacking in explanation. It's no. just lacking in follow-through for me. It was right. like, all right, here's this scenario, and then ultimately, what happens with it? This. And it's like, flat. that's not a lot. Yeah. To to me. And it sounds like to, to Raven as well. Good thing right. about a movie like this, if you're going to invest time in it, you want to know exactly what's going on, you will get your answers by the end of the film, which I really enjoyed. <clears throat> um, it's a pretty fast I know movie. exactly it's what's happening. Hours. I think it's between 90 minutes to two hours. <laughs> And, uh, so hour 40. you know, it was quite entertaining by the end, by the way that it ended. Um, so, yeah, I really, really enjoyed the flick. And I hope that you'll give it a look. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to go any further than that, really. I'm going to tell you, cinematography was well done. The acting was well done. Very creepy scenes of suspense. Great framing. Some really great effects in the movie. Um, yes, there's gore, like I said. Um... The story is well written and interesting, and I like how halfway through the movie almost kind of restarts over with more stuff happening, more information. I like that by the end you get a full explanation of everything that's going on in this situation. Um, 
But I don't want to go any further. I really do feel like it would do a disservice to the movie to tell you more about the plot elements or whatever. But actually one of the more original, shockingly scary, and surprising movies. You will enjoy this movie more if you go into it having no idea what's going to happen past that whole Airbnb mix-up. Yeah, that's the whole point of it. Yeah, that's the whole point. Mm. Don't even watch the trailer. At that point, why? I'm. I mean, I'll just say the trailer. Yeah, it gave us the premise. Beyond that, I mean, Raven. I sounds like you agree. I. It certainly didn't. Like maybe it kind of gave some expectations, but like to me, it certainly didn't. You know, reveal a lot. No, I just thought it was going to go a different way than what it showed. If anything, I guess that's that kind of helps, right? Because it, like, throws you off. Maybe. It, I, I don't, don't want to like, say um, too much. Like a lot of reviewers say, it throws you off multiple times. You think it's going to go in one direction? Nope, it flips on its head. It's going to go in a different direction. No, it's going to no, go in a always, different direction. I always mm. thought it was very straightforward. Like, what were your first thoughts after the first incident? Like, you think it's just gonna be th these characters before they introduce that one character that um filth introduced? Yeah, it, it kind of just went off the rails there, but yeah, like, and then it was more like building up to what happens. I don't know. It for me, like in a post cabin in the woods post you know Rick and Morty not like haha Rick and Morty the meme but like the fact that like every piece of content is as Phil likes to say breaking the fourth wall even though that's not what fucking breaking the fourth wall means um right but you know like things being meta people being aware of how things were I always assume that something is going to be like way crazier and bigger than it would seem like every time, you know? So I right. kind of assumed bigger in this sense. No, I agree. Like, I, I, oh, it's, I it's want just it bigger. This. And that was it. Yeah. So it's kind of like, Oh, it's just this. That's it. Oh, all right. Well, fine. <laughs> the plot. Knowing nothing else, you will enjoy it way more. Because I really loved it because I didn't know what was going to happen. If I had actually known about some of the stuff that was going to be coming up in the movie, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. I actually really what? was shocked and surprised. Oh, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, this is a good one. But yes, there is gore. There is some very disturbing scenes in this movie. Prepare yourself for it. No okay? shit. But I think you will enjoy it if you like horror movies. Okay? So, Barbarian. I give it actually two thumbs up. I really enjoyed Holy it. Fuck. I hope that you'll give it a look. And it's a good modern it horror. You know, it's only about a year old. And yeah. I just happened to stumble upon it. You know, one night on Max, like, oh my God, the movie was very good. So give it a look. Oh my God. Barbarian, great movie for this spooky Halloween horror season. Thank you for watching my movie review. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you next time. Holy fuck. No, that wasn't Phil that bad. did it. That was actually Not a bad. It was lazy and short, and, like, again, yeah. it's just your uncle talking to you at a thing saying, this is what I saw on the TV. Like, okay, and thanks. You know, you know me. I'm going to it. was actually a review. It. it wasn't like the other ones where it's like, now I'm going to tell you for 10 minutes when I first saw the first part of this series, and let me talk about Scream 4 while I'm fucking reviewing Scream 6. And y'all, he actually reviewed it. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations, congratulations, it's, congratulations, congratulations, the, congratulations. Except for talking about the Airbnb, this one wasn't wow. lazy, but yeah, it was like, okay, that one's fine. It's like, yeah, great Fuck. job, Phil. You, you're, you, yeah. you had a bunch of trolls had to literally beat you down to tell Pretty you much. that you suck. Pretty much. But he's not going to learn, like... By the time no. he's going to review Scream 6 and Halloween ends, it's going to go back to... And maybe just because so much of this was just like, you know, it's not like, yeah. So something that's like an established franchise like Scream or Halloween, he gets more distracted about because it's like, oh, 
if I talk more about this and give more opinions, it will get reactions from people and they'll click on it more and they'll like me and the algorithm will like me. But something like this that's like its own original short kind of thing, he's just like, oh, that was kind of neat. Two thumbs up. The end. And also, like, I, he doesn't think much beyond that, I don't think. In the this. premise itself, even, even a toddler could uh, follow it. Yeah. I mean, the way they you know, showed, and yeah, of course not at first, you gotta like surprise and then reveal and then, you know, establish more later. That, you know, it wasn't like, oh, I didn't understand. It was just like, oh, I understand, but it's just kind of over at some point. Mm -hmm. And that right. you know, was just kind of, <sighs> I don't know, could have been, uh, could have been bigger. Yeah. Oh, well. It was oh. it, good job, Phil. Uh, you did okay. That's all you're getting from me. Fuck. Yeah. Me. Okay. Like, if he can do this to all his reviews, it would be better. But he's gonna falter. He's gonna. This would have been yeah. Uh, this would have been a good 2009. Like this was basically the bar for what constituted a YouTube movie review. So, I mean, that's where you've always belonged. So, good job. Yeah, that is true. I guess we'll see what happens in Scream 6. Um, are you going to be part of that? Um, it will depend on timing and stuff, but hopefully, fingers crossed. I guess the same time or... The... Yep. We'll try to go around your schedule too. Phil's day oh, off so or bad. something like that. Just keep you're us so updated. Bad. Um... Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Like I'm trying to hit a thousand subs. Any last yeah. words, bitches? TSP's a bitch. Yeah. Uh, the only barbarian here is Phil when he eats on camera. That is true. Yep.